Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zerg Reno Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our WWE 2K14 30 Years of WrestleMania mode. Um, last time we did WrestleMania 10 and 11, if I recall correctly, uh, which featured some matches um, including HBK and Razor Ramon in a ladder match, uh, HBK and Big Daddy Cool Diesel, um, Undertaker and King Kong Bundy, and then one other one that I can't remember off the top of my head, but we can check in a second. Oh yeah, Brett versus Yokozuna with the one of the worst finishes to a WrestleMania WWE title match I've I've ever seen in my fucking goddamn life. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm pretty sure uh, we. Oh, DX theme, or uh, not really DX theme. It's the. Uh... It's the uh, Triple H my time, you know, the hit me with that Triple H just happened. Anyways, um, yeah, so in this uh, this session, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing uh, too much here, but uh, I know we got WrestleMania 12, which has the Iron Man, of course, and then we have WrestleMania 13, and that's the end for the new generation. So uh, hopefully we can get both of those done uh, and out of the way and then maybe um, start chipping into the Attitude Era a little bit. And then we can move on and on and on and on. Look at look at the evolution of those like logos. You know what I mean? The logos like used to be like really just the same thing over and over. And then they're like, hey, let's let's switch it up a little bit every now and then. And then they started switching it up kind of every year and stuff like that. And then this is a very old game because the finale is 29 and we're coming up on 37 this year, I think. So. I'm getting older and older and uh, feeling less accomplished with my life every day. But let's go into the new generation. Let's uh, let's 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 load into this uh, cutscene. No cutscene. No nothing. Okay. No video package. Undertaker versus Diesel, March 31st, 1996, Anaheim, uh, California, I'd assume. Win by pinfall or submission. Uh, historical objective, hit a choke slam on Diesel, hit a tombstone on Diesel, and then uh, win by pinfall. WrestleMania 12, the new generation was literally the title of the pay-per-view. Okay. At Royal Rumble 1996, Undertaker competed against Bret Hitman Hart for the WWF Championship as the Phenom prepared to end the match with a tombstone he was attacked by Diesel, who thought he deserved the title shot. It was announced that at WrestleMania 12, Undertaker and Diesel would face off in a battle of WWE's most dominant big men. With the match approaching, the mind games began as the Phenom proceeded to torment Big Daddy Cool. Eventually, the psychological warfare peaked as Undertaker positioned a coffin at ringside. Diesel destroyed the casket, only to discover a life-size replica of himself. Classic Undertaker mind games, that fucking disgusting mask that I think he had like an orbital fracture or something that he had to wear that because of. It wasn't a character thing. It was like a, hey, he's fucked up, but like, let's try and develop into, into a character thing. It looks gross. Um, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's load into this, brother. I think a video package would have been good for this one, but I feel like... I, I was gonna say, you know, I feel like we'll get one for Taker and Sean, but I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. You know? He's cool. He's big. He's big daddy cool. Great, great commentary. Great commentary. We're gonna go ahead and crack open a cold one with the boys. Dead meme. Please sponsor me, Peace T. And while we begging for handouts, you know. Uh, check out the Patreon if you want to. Uh, that'd be cool. If not, that's A-OK. -okay. First link in the description. Uh, he's keeping his cool and all that shit. I really would have liked to see a uh, promo package, though, with the with the casket moment. Or at least, like, maybe a recreated cutscene or something. But uh, shit out of luck, because this is, like, the secondary match. Obviously, the Iron Man is the main match for this pay-per-view. Now, I'm wondering how they're going to do the Iron Man in the context of the game. You know what I mean? Like, is it going to make me play one hour of Sean versus Brett? Or is it going to be like, hey, we're going to let you play. We're going to give you the hour time slot, but we're going to let you play. And then the cutscenes are just going to advance the time kind of thing. You know what I mean? I feel like that might be what they do. Because I feel like it would be kind of um, unreasonable to request that the player plays one hour on one match. Um in the middle of a of a you know historic story mode where you kind of not story mode but you know what i mean a historic like callback mode so yeah 
Um, okay, they have like the 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 background of like California at night with all the city lights and stuff as the nameplate. I wasn't really paying attention to Big Daddy Cool Beasel's part because I was too focused on the brilliant piece to please sponsor me. But um, yeah. Um, I like I like the uh, I like the um, the name card definitely. I like when they have spe like special name cards for the special pay per views. I liked when they had special um, stage designs for the pay per views, which obviously they don't anymore. And I don't mean about you know the pandemic shit because uh, what what can you do with the whole pandemic? You can't travel every week to a different arena. But I mean before that they weren't doing it anyways, so it was kind of annoying. Um, apparently the reason was because they don't look good in HD or something, the stages that they used to make, but it's like, who fucking cares? It makes the show feel like a special show. If you're, if you're, uh, not so much anymore with the network, which actually got sold to NBC... N? NBC... N NBCU? Or something? I don't know what the fuck. Um, Peacock, the new streaming service in the US, Peacock, I think it's called. Maybe it's in Canada as well, actually, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that new streaming service uh, has the network now. They sold it to them in like a billion dollar deal or something uh, for like a five year contract, which is, I mean, in the US only. It doesn't affect how it works in uh, other countries, apparently. But regardless, with the network being a thing, whether it's run on WWE's or Peacock or whatever, with the network being a thing, like it's not so much a big deal anymore in terms of like oh you have to pay for the pay-per-view but it's still an option to pay for the pay-per-view i think um but like make the big show feel special you know what i mean if i'm watching wrestlemania and it has the exact same stage as raw and smackdown i'm not going to be as hyped for wrestlemania you know what i mean which typically actually they don't do that so that's a bad example but like um rumble they've they've done the special stage recently just because um they did it in the the baseball stadium that has the really really long uh, entrance entrance way kind of thing and they come out of the dugout or whatever but um ooh, what you doing diesel what you doing big daddy cool big daddy cool diesel i definitely reversed that one i don't know what the fuck went on there the fuck are you talking about? So Come on, strength. man. That's why you don't check to make sure your audio is recording while you're getting moves done to you. You don't time your reversals right. <laughs> All right, let's shoot you off here, brother. Let's get you with a boom right there. Yes, sir. Fuck your traps, bro. Fuck your trapezius muscles. Fuck your shit, brother. Boom, DDT. DDT, DDT, DDT. Oh, shit. Oh, shisa. Big DDT, there we go. He has a signature. Why does he have a signature for getting his ass beat? There you go. Get up. Why is that the taunt, though? I was actually trying to... Okay. Okay. Hey, Diesel, if you could... Uh, you're pinning me off that. You're pinning me off that. You're pinning me off that? I'm gonna lose. No, I'm not. That was a really big kickout bar. Thank fuck. Ooh, okay. Where are you going, brother? You going to tear your quads moving that quick? Okay. Is he supposed to hit me with his shit? Because like, you know, you know what? When you get into a match in one of these modes, right? Oh, okay. Well, he just hit me with a jackknife. Um, you know when you get to one of these modes in these games and it's like you literally can't do shit because like the game is designed to have the other person. Get out of here. Fuck your finish, bitch. I'm a no-sell your finish. There you go. I didn't no-sell it, but I did kick out of it. Hopefully the choke slam is a signature. I don't want to have to wrestle the match long enough to do two fucking finishers on him. Um, so, there we go. There you go. There's a big boot. Let's uh, do the throat cut thing. The bob. Boom. 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 Let's go behind and let's get you with a good old not a German. Not a German despite me putting a German. Not a German despite me putting a German. Okay. Does he have a finisher again? What the fuck is going on with his shit? Come on, man. Okay, that's old school. So that's shit. So we have to do two finishers. Fantastic. 
<laughs> oh, I hate when they when they have that as like one of your things. You know what I mean? Get up. I'm not wasting a grapple on you. You're gonna have to. Yeah, that's uh, that's right. What are you doing? Into a spin. I just lost. I just lost. <clears throat> I had to use my resiliency. I wasn't risking it on that shit. Look, he's just reversing all my- Where are you running to, brother? Think of your quads! Your quads are fucking screaming for help! Help me! They're yelling as you run away. Don't run, brother. Better yet, don't even walk. He's whooping my ass, man. I- I'm having trouble, like, timing these reversals. Um... There you go. Did he fucking reverse that? I swear to fuck. No. Okay, there you go. That's a choke slam. We need to build up a fucking tombstone now and then win with the tombstone, I guess. Can you... Sir. There you go. Boom, big DDT. Let's get you with the uh, choke slam gimmick. Choke slam taunt right there. Stomp on ya, stomp on ya. Okay. There you go, big boot. Stomp you. The, the, the over-exaggerated stomps are fucking hilarious. Okay. Big Daddy Cool Diesel, I'm gonna need you to sh fucking calm down, brother. Come on, man. Here we go. Old School is literally his only signature. Unless he has one in the corner. Um, oh, Snake Eyes might be in the corner. Yeah. Now that I think about it. I was gonna try and do The Undertaker... Um, you know, signature tope thing that he does, but uh, I didn't feel like it <laughs> because he keeps reversing a lot of my shit, brother. Don't reverse this. Pin him. There you go. And uh, hopefully we get that W. There it is. There it is. Yo! The person doesn't kick out on three in this game. I just noticed that. One of my biggest fucking complaints with the older, like, THQ games, the SmackDown vs. Raw series, is the Tombstone always had a kickout animation even when you got a three count, and it makes the move look like shit. It buries the move. If you're, like, your finisher is meant to finish people, right? One, two, three, whatever, when you hit it, right? Maybe not the first time if it's, like, a really important match, whatever, wrestling, psychology, you know... But if somebody just kicks out of your finisher after three, like if you're trying to tell a story, like that's fine on a one-off kind of thing. But for that to be the default just makes the move look like kind of weak, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, you can barely beat people with it kind of thing. I just don't like it, you know what I mean? I don't like it. Because it also makes it look like there was maybe a referee error kind of thing sometimes. And it just, I don't know. It's something that Hulk Hogan would do to protect himself. He wouldn't actually get pinned, he'd kick out, like, on three and a half of the count, you know what I mean? To be like, oh no, I kicked out, oh, okay, I guess they gave you the win this time, I guess they gave you the win. You're gonna have to do the job for me sooner or later, though, but uh, they paid me a lot of money to put you over, brother. Um, so, yeah, fuck Hulk Hogan, and fuck that kick out animation. But that is the uh, the first match on WrestleMania 12 done. And next up, we got the Iron Man match.